ai huwana a gida yaron ba lafiya laulaye laulaye har yaron yanzu wata wata shi bakwai yazo yaron su gaskiya ko ni ma sai in ce kai abun nan barayi ba amma daga baya mata na ba ta da lafiya a lokacin kuma tana da shike So the village health worker scheme was brought in in Gombe state to be able to bridge that gap. The National Strategic Health Development Plan has health service delivery and community participation and ownership as part of its eight focal areas to deliver a sustainable healthcare system to the citizenry. In 2011, the federal government encouraged all states across the federation to establish primary healthcare development agencies to help drive healthcare services, especially on maternal, newborn and child healthcare. Gombe State has since established its primary healthcare development agency and has swung into action on various healthcare delivery projects. One of such is the Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Project, spearheaded by the introduction and implementation of the Village Health Workers Scheme. On the 13th of October 2016, the scheme was formally launched by the Executive Governor of Gombe State, His Excellency. Alhaji Ibrahim Hassan Dangwambu. There is no doubt the village health scheme will further strengthen our partnership and elicit intervention for the recruitment, training, and deployment of 1,200 community based village health workers in the state. This event is a testimony of our commitment towards providing qualitative and affordable healthcare services and infrastructure to the good people of Gombe State. The village health workers are a group of volunteers selected from across 57 wards, that is, 50% of wards in Gombe State that are considered most vulnerable in the 11 local government areas. These volunteers are equipped with the necessary and essential health training and tools to enable them mobilize and encourage pregnant women and new mothers in core rural communities to seek care at the health facilities closest to them. There's still a significant percentage of our people that don't use health services at the facilities for some reasons. To some, it's because of difficulty in accessing the facility because of distance or probably because they cannot afford the cost of transportation, of going to and fro to the facilities, or maybe there are some cultural and traditional inhibitions that they don't want to go to the hospitals, or the husbands would not just allow them, or because of their household engagement. So by bringing the village health workforce to the household, we're also improving access at the household level, and also linking you know, clients at the household level to the facilities. The name village health workers in some other countries is being referred to as community health workers. They are in the communities, they are also at the households, working with mothers and newborn at that household level, and also providing some simple management first aid services to mothers, newborn, and also children under five. The Gombe Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Care Project is being implemented by the Gombe State Primary Health Care Development Agency with technical support from Society for Family Health and in collaboration with other development partners. Society for Family Health, SFH, is one of the partners funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The Health Worker Scheme was a very welcome idea from the Gombe State Primary Health Care Development Agency. They liked it, they wanted it. So what we're actually doing was providing them some support, particularly um, technical support, providing capacity building, uh, supporting supervision to these village health workers, and areas SFH are very well known for. 
But while doing that, we, we are only doing that and we are continuing to do that based on one premise, which is handing this over to the government at the end of the day so that they can run with it. And it becomes a model that other states in Nigeria will replicate and copy. The, the principal partner, as far as Bele Heshoka scheme is concerned, is the Society for Primary Health and the Primary Health Care Development Agency leading. And actually, when we resolved to have the Bele Heshoka in Gombe State, and that SFH, the Society for Primary Health, will support us, we had a, a lot of meetings, one of which from the beginning is at Abuja, where officials from BNGF came and we were sponsored to Abuja. We met with them and discussed the importance of having the Bele Hesoka to help Gombe, to bail out Gombe out of the maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality that is happening in Gombe. The project is unique because the government conceptualized, designed, and led the intervention, laying solid foundation for sustainability. This Gombe State Village Health Worker Scheme is a very unique implementation. Very unique because from inception, from the designing stage, sustainability was built in. The implementation is done in collaboration with four other grantees. We have evidence for action, who are, who are part of the project. We have parts, we have communication for change, and then SFH. And why I said the sustainability was built in from the design is that the government themselves designed what they can do with or without SFH and other grantees as technical support. They agreed on how this training will be done. They agreed on the criteria of the women that they wanted to be on the scheme. They agreed on the duration of the training. They agreed on the style of the training to say this training should be fully residential. And they also agreed on the stipend that should be given to these women to facilitate their movement.